so now in this one we will try to create that routes so where api routes will create that okay that whatever that our gate and post all those things we'll try to do it so already we tried what all connecting with that db writing that uh, sql query creating that function to call those where we have select or insert values are there okay we can do that delete in uh, update all those things but right now i am focusing on two things uh, that only select and post uh, insert and later you can try all those things from your end so in this one now we'll try to create that api okay that whatever routes we need to provide okay so now let's move to visual studio okay so now we done with controller also done models done now let's create one more config also done now we'll select this and create one more folder routes okay now inside i will use that user user route start chase okay so similarly if we have more than one we can try to create all one by one right now i'm only creating for users so that you can understand complete workflow okay so now in this one what we need we need to use our variable const and uh, use that here since we going to create that route so we need that express so first i will do that express also i will put that required require and express i need okay so this is done second thing we need to use our both that Thing that we created in our controller okay. so this is that what all we did we did that create user and fetch user so i will copy this okay and i will paste this one okay and from where it's present so we need to pass that path require okay dot dot slash controllers so see it's by default it's coming all those things controllers slash user controller okay if you have more than one file it will start displaying all those details here okay and now second thing i need to create that route so i need again const route router equals to express dot router okay so now i will use that express dot router and now we need to create which all uh the link we need to provide that api where it's going to work so now i will use that variable router one dot uh, router dot get or post one okay and what i will do i will create now simply that route as slash api slash get slash user users okay and now what i need to do i need to use that fetch users okay so fetch users we already created so fetch users we already used here as well so fetch users will work here okay so this is our routes for to get that route now i will go to get that now post okay so here i will give that different one slash api okay slash users and then i will put that create user okay so create user now done thing else okay and now i can export this one module dot exports goes to route okay so what all i did here first i knew here express so i require that express then i use that controller here 
and I create that route one object with that express of route function and then I am passing that use that get and post okay so with this is that if they put that our uh, server and then they can put API get users then it will display that all users and uh, API users they will pass then it will allow us to create that okay so this one is done with that our routers okay so now since uh, previously I have written all those in our server.js okay in server.js will not write now all this code now we'll try to do little bit less I will create one more file that call app okay and then in app.js we'll try to write all our things and then we can just simply use that server.js for calling app okay so now let me close this so that you can see this one also I will close now I will go to src and then I will create app.js okay and now in app.js we need some of those constants so let me create const express Press equals to require. Require express. Okay. So similarly, I need lot other variables. So let me paste it. Okay. So now what all things we needed so now first we need that express so i got it now we required body parts also because we will get from json so we need that body underscore parse parser okay so this we required and we required that path uh, to route one with that others when we'll pass that so path also we need now what else we need now we need that core of course i will explain when all i'm going to use that okay i need to change that here name also departure path will be able to get that name as path this one i need see your course oh, insert course now what next i need i need now user routes that we created so now routes we need so i will create user and user routes and then i need required dot slash routes and then slash user routes okay so these are done now as of now nothing else needed now i will create one app and then i will put that express i'll create that object of express here okay so now this okay one more column is there yeah okay so now we are done now so uh, now i will try to use that uh, these things as of now path i don't think i need now what i can do i need app dot uh, use okay body parts dot json okay so that it can pass us that value okay and uh, when id and uh, name will pass then it will be work and app dot course that i need okay so i will use this as well okay use if to write one sorry use this as well okay anything else no not needed now i will create that route so app dot post okay 
and then what else we need ah what is that path we need to pass now here pass api slash users whatever we pass there that i will pass it here and then use that user route user routes okay and similarly i can use for get as well so for get we know that we going to put that here get then slash users and then use that this one okay so this two now we are done so i think anything else no so now basically we going to use these things and now i can export it module dot exports equals to app okay so i done now we can go ahead and try to change that server dot js where i am trying to use that express and all now i don't need express here i need dot slash app dot js you can put that now done and here i will put that name app okay dot net i need and dot env i need now this also i don't need config dot db i don't need that here dot dot env then cons that app app oh, this also we don't need because app already i did that and there so nothing needed okay now this is port and app dot listen is that port okay so now what all we did in this one so i will go ahead and explain once so that we will be on the same page so here first i created that uh, express we need so i created that here express i required and try to pass that path so this is our pass path that where we put that in browser that slash api slash get users to fetch all those users and api slash users if we put then we will able to create that okay so this one we created at routes and then i created at app.js and i move all those code here that post and, and sorry this one we need to put that get okay so this is that get so i am using and then passing that here user routes okay so that also came and then in server.js also we have modified nothing else is there it's just going to show us that on which port we are going to listen this nothing apart from this okay so now that's all for this one now in the next video we'll try to do that uh, testing and before that i will try to create all those uh, sql tables and then we can do it thank you